and welcome back to another awesome episode of The Careful Boys, and today we have Yoshi in the seat. Oh, guys. wow. Boys. Peace, Yoshi. Time peace, Yoshi. What happened? Did you see our video and then you're just like, man, I haven't been on the show in a minute. That's exactly what I did. I texted Bart. I was like, hey, bro, I see you talking about me. Yep, sexy boy <laughs> so Yoshi. Like it doesn't bring me around though. So contextualize this for people who don't know. What happened? Yeah. So we were talking about Yoshi, about uh, the, one of the sexiest guys in the world. The other sexiest guy in the world is his brother. Yeah. Okay. So the two, little, two. Yeah, the two yeah. sexiest well, guys well, in the world. What's your brother's name? Mario? Mario. That's exactly right. <laughs> Yoshi. No, he writes me. Um, that's a different story. <laughs> so we're just talking about how sexy he is. And then uh, he texts me. He goes, hey, I need to go and refute all the things you talk about. I need to challenge my, yeah. your sexy. Oh, that's what you said? It, it wasn't true. I don't even remember this so-called free giving. I didn't, we didn't get free shit. When? Was that a fever dream of his, you think? I think so. You call me, you call, you look at my face right now, call me a fucking liar. Wait, dude. what free shit? I'm just calling you a liar. I didn't say you're a fucking liar. Steve up with the story. God damn it. Let's play the video that was on Instagram. So the video that was on Instagram. <laughs> Is Instagram Steve has no idea. You. I have no idea. <laughs> And I would imagine some people maybe don't. We were talking about hot people privilege. Just That's me. what it was. We're talking oh. about people All right, so so this is the video. All right, if you guys are on our Instagram, we're posting again. So follow us on Just Kidding News on Instagram. Maybe we'll put the video. Yeah. Wow. That's a Who'd, long bird. That was crazy. Not that hot anymore. <laughs> so this one, right? Yeah. They, they have like, Yoshi's not fair. It's not fair. No, it Look at Bart, he's still fair. <laughs> 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 yes. He's just like, I haven't worked out in three months. He's just fucking. Yeah. He's got abs. He's so fat now. He's never told me no until 11. This is Yoshi and Peter's the brothers. Okay. Thanks, Ryan, for that. Yeah, sex magnets. <laughs> they want to fuck each other. They're so hot. That's my favorite line. Yeah, they wanna, they're so hot. They want to fuck each other, man. <laughs> got it. So he saw this vi clip. <laughs> Caught up. Thank See? you. <laughs> that explains a lot, right? And you know what the tease is? Yeah. They're so hot they want to fuck each other, but they never have. Yeah. And that's <laughs> it's just keep a teasing us <laughs> about that. The problem. There's a, like people are waiting on that content. Or I, think that's, <laughs> I think that's the kind of work meetings I like to come to. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta fill Steve I'll in about speed, all this stuff. Yeah. 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 Which gum you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why haven't you fucked your brother By yet? the way, that was, that was also brought up in the middle of us talking about like CNN Plus shutting down or something. Yeah, that was a video on <laughs> CNN Plus. That what it was? Yeah. Oh, that's how they tied together. Oh, yeah. I think what happens, we were talking about CNN Plus and we just saw Nick shaking like he wanted to bring something up. And we like, what, what would you like to say? Okay, I'll say it, I'll say it. When we were talking about good looking people always have it easier. Yeah. Because for whatever reason or something, and then Nick talks about how like, yeah, like Yoshi, my good looking friend, you know, we get free shit. Yeah. So you have no recollection of that moment? I I, no, I don't really. I feel like we pay for it all the time, right? I'm pretty sure we pay for everything. Yeah. I hope there's a JK fan out there who's like, I really want to hear their take on CNN Plus. Click, click. <laughs> Like, Finally, well, what CNN Plus. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't talk about it at all. The video closes. They're just sitting there in silence, yeah. in the yeah. darkness. They throw the computer in the bucket. <laughs> so we've got the facts down. CNN Plus doesn't matter. Yoshi's hot. He hasn't fucked his brother yet, and no. now he's here. So when are you? So the what's with the we, what's with the yet? That's not happening. That's what he's talking about. Ever. What makes you take a shirtless picture with your brother like that? <laughs> Without making out. Yeah. Listen, we are Without very comfortable in our masculinity that I'm, I'm okay with doing that with all of you guys. Uh, masculinity. Yeah. Masculinity. Uh, I'm down to do that with all of you. I thought, Thanks, I don't man. know if it was you or your brother, someone told me, right? That you guys started trolling, doing like gay photo shoots together. Right? Pretty, <laughs> pretty like, um, <laughs> no, they started doing these seductive, like, pictures that were like, it was funny because you guys are brothers, but you know. So you guys were like, we'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys built the whole fan base. And, and they got a huge gay following. You did it. Oh. Is that how it started? I mean, I don't know if that's Because you guys are on modeling sites right? and stuff too, right? No, but their so pictures cute. were so funny though, because it was like really sexual. Uh, <laughs> was like, I remember you guys were mermaids one time, and I was like. You did do that, and there was like five of us. Four of us? Merman, sorry. Mer Mermen? Mermen. Mermen whatever, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter to me. Merve. Merve. But, Merve. But I'm you cool just with basically it. basically became eye candy for all these dudes, 
And then, so half of your following or some shit like that became like huge, right? I think if I look at my, at least Instagram um, and like Twitter, it's like maybe 70, 80% dudes. Oh. Easier to sell ads, you know, because uh, I'm selling <laughs> shirts that are for men. And, then... and it says Lover Brothers. <laughs> whatever, whatever you want it to say. <laughs> That's a merch idea. It's very <laughs> specific targeting ads, though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Towards people who are like incest and, uh, and incest. <laughs> <laughs> Brotherly Here's love the is, is a good campaign, right? <laughs> Brotherly love. It's with all men. I'm, uh, I'm down for all yeah, y'all. It's inclusive. Yeah. It's inclusive. Yeah. We got a people shot. People ask me if I'm gay, I just say like nine percent. You know, nine, only just nine. nine. You're only married. <laughs> month. There's spectrum to this. There's spectrum. How? My when did you first high. find out that? You guys were hot, bro. I thought you were gonna say it. When did you first find out you were gay? 9% gay. 9%. 9%. No, did you guys know you guys were hot brothers in like second grade? <laughs> what? No, okay, so. Bart's scoping out we, second graders. Right we now. Went to, yeah. No, because you know, when you're in elementary no, we school, were, they, they, already, high school they already know like, who's hot and who's not. When did you guys start being hot? That's his question. For, for looking doofy. I, uh, bro, I had headgear. I had. Oh. My my mouth was like all messed up. I had headgear that I had to pull down. Oh, wow. My teeth were like this. And it came to a point until uh, I fell on a stunt when I like did a job, you know, back in the day. And that's the body form? Uh, no, Universal Studios. Tell them the story, wow. dude. You can watch David So's thing. We did a whole thing on that. It's Fuck, they don't watch world. David's yeah, bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> Let them stay here. Yeah. We don't want them to yeah, cook yeah. away. Well, it was Waterworld. This was uh, back in 2011 or something. I had already started getting into like commercials, acting, whatever, and I got it, I, I couldn't get any roles as an Asian guy, so I went into stunts, and I did a live show, it was called Waterworld, and I remember because my first headshot, my, my teeth were like this, I couldn't even close my mouth, even after five years of braces and headgear, couldn't close my mouth. Oh, your bite was, was like, like this. Yeah. yeah. Like you would, uh, what and, is that called? Uh, overbite. Overbite. And, overbite. And that, overbite. by the way, had nothing to do with you not getting roles. That, possibly, possibly. Nothing, nothing to do with it. Possibly. Also, probably the fact that I was an Asian dude. <laughs> there was no roles, and I didn't have any reps. All the Asian roles. At 2011? Yeah. Nah, there was nothing. There was nothing. They were all you it was you guys. Laundry. It was you guys. That's the only times yeah, I got anything. Yeah. My first like acting job was with you guys. All the roles were going to underbite, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Asian underbite guys. My teeth were so overbite, when I fell, I hit the water 45 feet into water, God. and I hit the water like this, oh. and my teeth Teeth just went whack oh. right underneath and it cracked the whole top six oh so they all fell off God. I came out I was like yo my tongue my tongue feels weird they're like what all my teeth came out and I was like oh god <laughs> bleeding like immediately there was no blood it was just because it was still bone it wasn't like it just I hit, broke your teeth it just broke my teeth uh, and it didn't hurt it, hurt it hurt but I was like more like the bruising in my chest but then when I just say ego, I just, like, <laughs> shot my teeth out. I was like, wow. like ooh, like right. And the wind hit oh, my nerves. Oh, oh, I buckled to the floor and I was like, oh god. Oh, was that a, a, that was a fall crazy. like gone wrong? So it was supposed to be. The idea is, is I was doing rehearsal and and it's the character that gets lit on fire and he runs around on, at the top and he falls 45 feet to his death. Right, yeah. death in the water. So, because the fire is behind you, you have to run a certain way, and you have to fall a certain way. The fall is called a, a step-off branny. A branny is a, a like half-twist front flip, right? You, you're supposed to step off, and then you do a branny because you want to stay like this, fire behind you, you fall. As you get to here, you want to twist, and then that way the fire stays behind you as you're coming down. Oh, shit. And you fall on your feet. <laughs> but they shit. taught me a little bit weird, and I, I was new. I've never done diving before. I just was like, yeah, I'll do it, whatever. And I twisted like hella fast. And I, because I took off with the left leg instead of my right leg. They said it was a cartwheel, not a branny. So I did a cartwheel. I should have done a branny with my left, uh, right foot and twist left. But I twisted hella fast. Somebody has this on video too. One of my buddies filming it. I went whap, flat on my face. Oh. And from 45 <laughs> to feet to the water, from oh, 45 shit. feet, that's like concrete. Oh. So this was all like purple. Like you know, for the next few days or whatever, but it was mostly because I hit like this and my teeth because it was like that If it was here, it would have been fine, but it went clap If you're crying <laughs> into the water, can people tell you're crying? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, apparently, question. <laughs> apparently that story is still going around because I'm the only one who's ever broken my teeth on that fall Wow That's still going around wow. wow. But then Universal like, paid for the new beautiful Smile. Oh, cool. <laughs> And now I can close my mouth.
Today's video is brought to you by Faraday. Man, every single time I go out, uh, I look like I'm going to the beach. Whether I'm in the desert, mountains, or anywhere, I kind of have this casual look to myself. Uh, thank goodness Faraday came around because, you know, I feel like their clothes is like ready for the beach, but also it feels a little bit more expensive. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like high quality. Look at this t-shirt. This is a high quality t-shirt. A nice collar. It's nice and thick. Look at these shorts, man. I'm gonna wear this like every day. I could wear it in the beach, but also at a restaurant in yeah. Hawaii. And they look like really timeless designs, you know? Like where you wear it, it won't look like you go out of style. Luckily, Faraday makes it way easier. They make the perfect clothes for all seasons. They do. Faraday is a family run brand making high quality, timeless clothing with modern design and functionality. It's that kind of effortless style you want every time you go digging in your closet. That set, that shirt, that dress, that feels like you had them for years. Maybe it's in a gorgeous print and it looks like it might be vintage, but it fits so well, it feels like it was made just yesterday. Look at this. Just for you. Me. Well, that's Faraday, look at that. And Faraday is so confident in the quality of their stuff, they have a lifetime guarantee of their quality. Wow. They'll replace or fix your clothes forever, no matter what. Talk about making it easier to get dressed. And right now, Faraday is giving all off the record listeners 20% off. 20% off. Wow. Head to faradaybrand.com slash off the record and use the code off the record at checkout to snag 20% off all your new spring staples. That's code off the record at Faraday. F-A-H-E-R-T-Y brand.com slash off the record for 20% off. Faraday brand.com slash off the record. Wow. Wow. Are those, uh, what, what do they call them? Veneers. Veneers, yeah. So it was veneers and some of them were, um, what is it, the... Uh, crowns? Oh, uh, crowns, I think is what it's called. And then I was sparring yeah, with David. I was about, David, I was about to tell you. <laughs> I tell you, like, you better tell the story next about what, about like David So being a bully, <laughs> bro. David thinks he's or he says he's bad. He fucking sandbags like a. He's brother. a sandbagger. He's a sandbagger. He's What's a lot mean? better than mean? he says. He's, yeah. Oh, okay. You yeah. know what I mean? He's and, like, oh, I'm not good. And he'll go like, hey, you want smart? We'll go light. We'll go light. And then he hits you. And then he immediately turns it up. Oh. He's got heavy. You don't know hands. how strong he is. Yeah. He thinks he's a little pussy in his. He's head. tall. Yeah. He's big. Yeah, His man. reach is yeah, like yeah, twice of my reach. Yeah. <laughs> God. Well, he was popping me in the face, and I, I leaned into it. And we were—I didn't wear a mouth guard because we were going light, light. <laughs> That's what he calls it. And I went, clack, and I was like, oh, oh, oh there goes my veneer. So oh my <laughs> and you had an audition that day, right? I did, and then, bro, I lived with that chipped tooth for like maybe a year and a half because oh, COVID happened, and I was like, I'm wearing masks. Oh shit. <laughs> So I just didn't do anything about it. Was it like a front tooth? Like a it was the this one right here. Oh no. The front tooth. Do you guys think that David does that just so he can look tougher? <laughs> I would do. I'd be like, yeah, we're just gonna spar, okay? And I'd BAM! Yeah. <laughs> and David's like, what are you tripping about? I didn't fucking hit you that hard. He gaslights everybody. That dude. was already loose. He hit everyone that has sparred with them has felt that, but like, come on, David, what the fuck? And his, his reaction all the time, what? Yeah. What? My favorite moment was going with him, and I remember him hitting me in the body with his, like, leg hits. He just, like, fucking roundhouses all day, and he would go, gotta block that, gotta block that. And I'm like, but I know, bitch, stop kicking me there. Damn. <laughs> David's I'm really good. I'm trying to block it, and it's like, oh, god damn it. Did Universal pick up the tab for your veneers? He did, yeah, nice. they did. That's they did take care of it. Did you go back to doing Waterworld after that? No, yeah, I did. That was my first day. It was rehearsals. Oh, I hadn't shit. even done a show. So you, oh, how no. long did it heal? Day, day one? That was day, it was like day five of rehearsals, and we Damn. finally got to the top because we were doing the smaller ones, and we hit at the top, and I... <laughs> Was hey, that had been talked The camera's on off right now. Was it a con? Was you, it? You're like, yo, I gotta get I need, the I need good teeth. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> was it a con? How long did it take for you to heal to go back on a show? Oh, bro, I, uh, so it happened on a Friday. I went to the doctors that day to make sure nothing was broken, and then they sent me to the dentist that day, and then they put fake whatever in my mouth. It was like, just like crappy old ones that pop off every Little once. chiclets? Yeah, and it would like pop off, but it was like together. It was all six. It was weird. I felt like an old man. And then the next day, or that night, I went to go watch one of the shows of the other performers and I saw one of the guys do it and I was like, he's using his other leg and he's twisting the same way I am. He, I've been doing it all wrong. So the next day, I went to GEO, uh, the Gymnastics Olympica was like where you would go. 
and I would jump on a trampoline and try to do it. So it was just like the next day I just kept so going. Were you injured at the time? Like bruises? Yeah. bruises and shit, yeah, whatever. I was like, Jeez. I needed to, I was young. I was like, I'm gonna get this done. I'm, I don't want to look Longer stupid. Year. I felt bad. Right? Stunt guys are also built different though. Yeah. I felt so bad. I She's like a self-taught stunt guy too. Yeah. The shit I've seen this guy do is insane, bro. Are you still doing stunts? No, I, I stopped like a few years ago. Yeah, it hurts. I got a kid now. We shot this skit um, with, uh, was his name Benji? Benjamin. This white dude that looked like uh, Justin Bieber. <laughs> and, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like we were, we're, we're, we were like we're down to cheat some shots. Yeah. And we're supposed to like drive a car or whatever at him. He goes, no, 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 I'll just flip over it. And then it's like these are YouTube. Oh, Ben Jinx. Yeah, yeah. These are like YouTube. Videos. Oh, he's like top number one in the world for for that kind of stuff. Yeah, like no union. Wow. We don't got insurance or nothing like that. And they're just so oh. fucking down. We'll do it over. Do it over and over. They'll do like ten of them over and over just and over. Kept hitting him with the car. I've heard of you a lot through these guys. So. Stunt yeah. people are yeah. gangster, man. I'm never doing that again. That's one of the things. Like, oh, why don't you do your own stunts? I'm like, I did other people. Why would I do my own now? <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what would I do? Was it? I mean, you know how like sometimes we all you know turn passion into work, right? right? But there is a point where it gets to be work, right? So like, what was that moment for you when you're just like, damn, bro, like, I gotta get somebody else to do this shit for well, me? Like, the stunts was with, the thing with stunts is it's very consistent, and as an Asian guy, it was very like a lot easier to. Well, I guess not so much easy, but easier to get work than acting. Right? Oh. There just wasn't space for us. You always need Asian guys to beat up anyways. Right, they want all these ninjas, right? But again, if you're an Asian fight guy living in LA, you better be top tier or you're not gonna work. Oh. You have to be the top of the game. Because there's so much Whereas other guys. If if you're you know if you're white or you're black, not to discount them, but there's less competition and less of that is gonna go around. And if you're an Asian guy, you have like that's just an expected. Is there like more sport. Asians in yeah. the stunt world? Is that why? Like, there's more competition. In the fight side, yes. Oh. Like there are like seven Asian drivers now, so they they work all the time with driving. But then when it comes to fights, there's so many of you can throw a rock and find a really good one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, that's like the case. And they would sell it. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. God damn, do two, two backflips. Back <laughs> 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 Like this rise of like Asian men specifically in media, like I was like, All right, I'm gonna go into acting, and and it came to a point where I was like, I no longer need to do stunts for money. You know? What was that for you, uh, Power Rangers? That was the first role, but when I came back, I got I finally got a manager, an agent, so I kept doing stunts because I loved it, and I enjoyed it, but it was mostly uh, when I had Silas, when I had a kid. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's not worth it for me to go out there and risk my life. Because there are still some like it's pretty safe nowadays, but there are still some jobs that you're like I could have died Doing a well, sex scene is much more safer unless you get mono <laughs> what, what do you mean? Oh, it's pretty it safe point. nowadays versus like silent. what it was it before was <laughs> Man back in the day it used to be like Cowboys and they would just throw themselves off horses and stuff like that. There was no safety. That's when it nowadays. started, right? Yeah back in the day like even the old-school like stunt coordinators were pretty like just get out there and do it, you know? Like, mm. you want to pad up the floor for me? Like, we're not seeing the floor. That's why unions ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> but now they have stuff like uh, high-dense foam that they can print stuff onto. Oh, so it looks wow. like carpet or the, yeah, the wall. Oh. They did that for the Matrix a bunch. I saw that in the behind the scenes yeah, yeah. shit. And that's because like those guys uh, that Blame. train with like Yeah, who ping, dude? <laughs> they used to be was the fucking guy. Yeah, and and they used to be the guys who hit the ground. So it's like, if they used to hit the ground, they know that that sucks. So if we can fix it, why not? And then there are the other guys who are like, uh, we have to do that. So why don't you just do it's it? It's not even in the shot. Right, exactly. <laughs> did you guys see the new Matrix movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Dude, yeah. the fights compared to the ones that Yen Wu Ping did, it's like, oh, it's it's like amateur hour, dude. It's like Power Rangers, honestly, versus <laughs> it is versus what they used to you do. Got the putty guys. Oh, dude, versus what they did with the fucking Matrix trilogy. Here's at least the, the first thing. two. What's crazy is if you actually look back on the Ranger stuff now, like watch the Ranger stunts that they do. You'll take your, your your word back for that. I don't think I will. Because it's crazy. They jump off of like buildings and hit straight up concrete. Come, come. You mean the Japanese ones? Yeah. Yeah, oh, the Japanese ones. They're dressed so silly, I can't take it seriously for a second. <laughs> go, go, go. Too colorful for you? Yeah, so colorful. <laughs> He so, doesn't like color. I thought you were coming here to refute your sexiness, but I think you just proved to everybody. Yeah, you made it worse. So much more I'm refuting sexy. the fact that we got free shit because of that. But not the brotherly love part, right? No, no, not at all. I love my brother. Everyone's nicer to us when you're around. I'll say that. 
Yeah. Are, you, are you gonna come well, on next time and be like, so, I want to prove I'm a pussy, and then you, and then you're like, yeah, I got all bruised well, up, but I, I went that, that night. I went the next day. I backflipped again. So what was the place you guys went to where you got free shit? Some like Chinese spot, and the bill. <laughs> was not that What expensive? if it was really like a mall food court and there were samples? Yeah. <laughs> he just thinks they were giving a free shit. What if it's because they're like, oh, you're the Blue Ranger. I like the Blue Ranger. Yeah, dude. Did we really? Yeah, bro, you don't remember this. Dude, this shit. You don't think, I, I, this happens to you probably for He's used to that life. It's, I'm not used to this, so I was like, this is an anomaly. He's like a hot girl that's like, yeah. I don't know why guys are so nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's so nice to me. Everyone's yeah. so nice to to Yoshi when he's around, for sure. Nice wait, 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 wait. Yeah, everyone. Everyone's everyone nice to me when I'm around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. when you're not around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is what I said. Yoshi's like a chick with big tits. Yeah. Yoshi, what do you mean? I, I'm, I'm a dude with big tits. Life is, is okay? good. You got some fat tits on you. Yeah. I'm working on it. Try it. <laughs> They're getting big. See that picture again? Throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying yeah, right here with your brother. I'm trying. You guys going boob to boob? 